Welcome back guys, my name is Fernando Herrera and today I'm going to be talking to you guys how I have been able to manage to sell over $90,000 online in just two months on my Shopify website. And so I'm gonna be explaining pretty much what I did, why I'm getting so many sales, what I'm selling. And for those of you who don't know, I'm actually in the tire industry, so my websites only sell tires. So we sold over $90,000 worth in tires and I'm gonna be explaining how much profit I made how much of that I spent in marketing it's actually a pretty cool video especially because I want I've been wanting to you know kind of share this a little bit more with you guys and because lately my channel has been only focused on crypto but because it just takes me a little bit more time in doing videos like these that you know crypto videos are just a little bit quicker but today finally I got something that you know will be maybe something um, that I'll be talking more in my channel because my intentions for this business is to grow it. And but yeah, let's go ahead and start, guys. So before we continue, though, obviously this video is sponsored by thetiredealer.com, which is the business that we're going to be uh, talking about. So if you're looking and buying tires, definitely check out my website. Uh, I'll try to give out a, like a discount or a coupon, even even if I don't make any money on. On all these orders it's fine because you know I know you guys um, are gonna be you know buying tires to support the channel if you guys need some uh, unfortunately I only can sell tires in the US so if there's anyone out there who's not in the US I'm sorry but you're not gonna be able to buy tires on our website but also don't forget to smash that like button subscribe and finally uh, if you hear there's a lot of echo or some sort of bad sound I apologize this is a meeting room this where I actually work right there uh, but normally this this room is like full of echo and it's, it's pretty bad but anyways let's go ahead and begin and address what's going on okay so I'm gonna be talking just briefly kind of like how I started this company and then I'll jump into the computer and show you guys some screens some numbers but I want you guys to keep in mind that even though I'm only gonna be sharing the numbers for my last two months I've actually so many actually I I have opened this company since 2018 so this company I opened it since May of 2018 and it's taken until 2022 for us to get to these types of numbers so don't be unmotivated you know even though I have to make it attractive for people to come and check out this video don't be unmotivated by you know opening your own Shopify website and then you know one month later you get zero sales or just one sale uh, obviously it's a process it takes time and it takes a lot of persistence because for the last three years, you know, from 2018, 19, 20, 21, and now 22, actually four years now, it's actually four years, um, you know, I've been nothing but persistent on it. You know, similar to how my YouTube channel works, where even if I don't feel like uploading videos, I still upload a video because it's just the persistence. Um, that's the same way I felt about this business. Also, another thing to keep in mind is that I absolutely, even though I've sold $90,000 worth of tires, I hold absolutely no tires. So we do have tire warehouses in Las Vegas, but out of all these $90,000 worth of tire sales, none of them came from a warehouse in Vegas. So I'm only uh, drop shipping, right? So drop shipping for me is very important. So in this case, um, all of our sales come from drop shipping warehouses. So we have a network where we were connected to over 150 warehouses in the US and then whenever someone buys a tire in our website we just pretty much pick the warehouse that's closest to them and then ship you know send the labels and then ship them from that warehouse to the customer. Uh, we are going to be integrating some new warehouses within a month or so so I'm actually pretty excited because we're going to from 150 warehouses I think we're going to jump to like 500 warehouses which is going to be uh, pretty cool. So I just thought I'd let you guys know that, you know, all of these sales are drop shipping sales and all of these uh, orders, you know, obviously these sales, the amount of sales volume that I've gotten to uh, takes time, you know, so just be patient and hopefully this is a video you can just relax and don't push yourself, but you know, obviously motivate yourself that if you put the time within three to four years, absolutely you could be here within the same uh, space so now we're here in the computer and we're gonna be showing some numbers some juicy that this is the stuff I love the most I mean this is like my favorite part of the whole business just reviewing numbers and talking about numbers 
and not necessarily money, but just performance, right? How efficient are we? How, uh, you know, just the numbers, the data. So this is quarter to date, which is January 1st to um, February 22nd. So as you can see, it's only for a month and a half. Uh, we could do, I guess, year to date. I don't know if there was a, yeah, year to date. And it's gonna be the same number. So $94,615 worth of sales. Roughly, we're averaging around a thousand, you know, maybe, I don't know, $3,000 a day, something, something like that. You can see here that $58,000 came from our online store, which is our Shopify website. And I'll show you guys right here the website so you guys can see uh, how it works. So this is our website. We had a President's Day sale. And pretty much it's simple, right? People just search by their vehicle or the tire size and then they just, you know, get the tires that they want. Um, if somebody wants something like that, you know, they get the picture, results, and then they can buy them directly through here. And then that's it, it's, it's simple. It's a simple business model. However, all these tires that we have displayed in our website, currently we have around 50,000 items on our website. They are all coming from a um, integration that we built. And I'll talk more again, if you're more interested in all these little details, you know, I don't wanna make this video super long, but we spent money in 2018, we were only selling locally. And then in 2019, I decided to build a website where we could sell nationwide. And then in 2019, we found several warehouses that could uh, drop ship for us. And so we decided to spend on a, an integration, um, which is the tireconnection.com. And then this is where we actually push the products. You know, we get all the products, we push them. Uh, we get the images and all that stuff. And then this is, this integration right here, this program that we built is what pushes the data over to Shopify. So on our Shopify, obviously we're not importing items, um, you know, myself. It's that integration we built that pushes the items uh, over to Shopify. And then in Shopify, you know, we update the inventory, I believe every one or two days. And then, um, you know, that, that's how it works. That's how the backend works briefly, right? There's obviously a lot of, a lot of things here. But in analytics, we can see $94,000, $58,000 from our direct store, you know, from shop of, uh, the tiredealer.com. And then we got over $35,000 worth in Amazon. This is important because Amazon is um, a complicated business to manage, but it, there was a lot of growth this this these two months because we were selling some wheels and I guess some people were short and suddenly we became like the primary vendor for this specific wheel. Uh, but it was a heck it was a hectic because we had a lot of returns and it was just bad. And I'll explain that in a moment. And then four hundred eighty dollars from our Facebook channel was which I was surprised because I mean I didn't even know we had a Facebook channel, but I guess it converted a sell, which is pretty good. We can see we had 56 people, 56,000 people uh, uh, visiting our website, 4.2% 4, 4, 4 returning customers. Uh, conversion rate's kind of low, I mean, I'll be honest with you, but I mean, it is what it is. Total orders, we had 262 orders, and then uh, more stuff that maybe is not super uh, exciting, you know? Uh, Sales-wise, contributed by marketing is $23,000, which is pretty good, but this is it, I mean, uh, this is how it works. I am going to be showing you guys how much profit we made. Um, now, again, keep in mind that I'm gonna be showing you because we have all of our accounting stuff, uh, managing our expenses and all that through QuickBooks. Uh, I do have one corporation or one LLC and I do several other businesses, so I have, to have, I have them divided by class. So I'm gonna go ahead and only blur everything else except the tiredealer.com numbers because I don't wanna be sharing uh, you know the other numbers from the other businesses as well so this is right here the tire dealer profit and loss from january 1st to february 22nd of 2022 which is today and so right here you guys can see that the tire dealer.com had an income of ninety three thousand five hundred eighty five dollars pretty good i mean there's maybe a variance of a thousand dollars between this and the shopify number but it's immaterial so what that means is that it's not material enough it's not significant enough for me to go and investigate why is there a thousand dollar variance you know so it's it's representative it's it's fine uh, we had fifty nine thousand dollars worth of cost of goods sold so you know obviously we have to pay for the tire so if somebody buys a tire for two hundred dollars and the tire costs 150 we have to pay 150 back to the supplier right 
Um, so we spent $59,000 in tires. We spent in shipping, obviously we have to provide labels. So we spent in FedEx $6,018. And then a gross profit, this is just a profit after the you know, initial uh, expense of shipping and cost of goods is $28,000. Now with these $28,000 we can use for salaries and advertising and all that. So advertising we spent $6,981 so we spent over $7,000. Which again I have a trick because I, I'm starting to use my crypto.com card which gives me 3% cash back. And if I put $40,000 in stake, it'll give me a 5% cash back. So if I could suddenly spend 10, $20,000 in advertising and get 5% cash back, I mean, that's gonna be game changer. But we'll leave that for another video. Um, bank fees, obviously these, these are bank fees from, from Stripe or Shopify payments. We spent around 3% to $1,700. Amazon fees, we have to pay a 10% at least uh, to Amazon from all of our Amazon sales. Um, so that was $4,155. And so far we spent, you know, total bank fees, $5,955, almost $6,000 in bank fees, that's a lot. And then website development, we did have to pay some, some of our servers. Um, website subscriptions, honestly, if we even click on this, it's gonna be subscriptions that we that we buy, you know. So things like eBay, Shopify, QuickBooks. I mean, honestly, very little overhead that we got, uh, which is nice. And finally, here, a $500 car and truck. This just a payment that I make to myself because you know it's kind of like a little little incentive that I get for helping the business. You know, even though it's mine, I, I don't just go and grab all this money, you know, to myself. So as you guys can see, there's absolutely no employee uh, fees because we don't have any employees. I mean, it's funny, but uh, we do have one agent through Synergy Sage, which is not here, but that comes to around a thousand dollars because you know they were part time. Now we're actually putting them full time because we're getting a lot more orders. But I think that won't be more than two thousand dollars a month, uh, which is pretty good, you know. So. Uh, I mean, out of that, as you can see, within two months, we've made $13,000 in profit, drop shipping, just by myself and another person. Uh, it's great, I mean, because, you know, other than Amazon, Amazon had a lot of returns and it was hectic and it was a lot of messaging and a lot of coordination. It was a lot of work. So that's why I kind of don't like selling too much in Amazon uh, because it's not even, I don't make that much money uh, because Amazon takes the most of it with the fee but it's still good to have you know more sales obviously so uh, we don't we can't complain about it but there it is guys i mean this is how it works uh, i thought i'd just share how much uh, I'm, I'm doing uh, honestly if i had to contribute why am i getting so many uh, sales it's a marketing i mean seven thousand dollars in marketing guys it's like um, it's impressive and you wouldn't believe this, but I I'm actually spending most of it in Microsoft Bing ads So I do spend in Google and Facebook But most of it is from Microsoft because Microsoft for whatever reason gives me very very good conversion rates So I don't know if it's just me, but I guess older people maybe are, are browsing through Microsoft or I don't know Maybe there's more traffic. I don't know But I don't know why every time I spend a thousand dollars in Microsoft I get much more sales than when I spend a thousand dollars in Facebook or Google and thus I you know I think that's important for you guys to kind of realize where am I getting the best return and then just focus on that one You know most of like 80% of my ad revenue uh, of my ad costs go through the channel that gives me the best return because Obviously, I don't want to spend seven thousand dollars and only get twenty thousand dollars in sales um, Because then you know, I might lose money. So there you guys have it. Let me know if you guys have any questions, concerns. I'll be definitely talking more about this business. Maybe next time I can explain how I even got to connect all these warehouses together if you're interested in doing a dropshipping business or heck, maybe if you even want to compete with my website and start selling tires as well. I mean, it's a big market and I feel like uh, there's obviously opportunity. I, I would be more than happy to share some tips. So don't forget to comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the, enjoy the rest of your week. Peace.